Dr. Emily Allen. Welcome to the committee. Good evening, Chair Coyne, members of the committee. Thank you for allowing me to speak. My name is Emily Allen. I'm a pediatrician and an adolescent medicine physician, and I'm here representing the Rhode Island chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. We strongly support S2549, the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act. Here in Rhode Island, we've already recognized that abortion is safe uh, and an essential part of sexual and reproductive health care. But the issue here is one of health equity and justice. Um, the current restrictions deepen health inequities in our state by disproportionately impacting people with low incomes, people of color, LGBTQ plus people, and young people. As a pediatrician and adolescent medicine physician, I see that adolescents and young adults face multiple barriers to sexual and reproductive health broadly, including an access to comprehensive sexual health education and contraception. And when it comes to accessing abortion, adolescents and young adults experience unique and overlapping obstacles, in addition to navigating issues of consent, confidentiality, transportation, among others. Figuring out how to pay for an abortion can be especially difficult for young people, and these barriers can delay care and increase the risk of medical complications and psychological harms. Most of my young patients and their families simply do not have hundreds of dollars available to spend on unexpected necessary care. That's why they have health insurance. But our state Medicaid program, the health insurance specifically for people with low incomes, does not cover abortion. This means that my patients seeking abortion may have to choose between paying for the medical care they need and buying groceries or paying rent. Unlike Massachusetts and Connecticut, where Medicaid includes abortion coverage, our current laws in Rhode Island mean that only people with financial means can reliably access this essential care. Withholding medical coverage for state employees and people in Medicaid, it's wrong. It's bad for public health. And again, it disproportionately impacts people of color, LGBTQ people, and young people, which is why the Rhode Island chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics strongly urges you to protect equitable access to safe abortion in Rhode Island by supporting S2549. Thank you for your testimony. Any questions or comments? 